Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here with a live reaction to what has been going on with the Miami Dolphins. This team has been absolutely a mess. There's, there's no surprise about that. But the big surprise has come with the fact that they are allowing Minka Fitzpatrick to start pursuing uh, trades after the uh, 59 to 10 loss after trading christian wilkins after trading um kiko alonzo after trading uh laramie tunsil which the team which reports came out and actually said that the team was would be uh having having a revolt if that happened and now after the 59 to 10 blowout loss to uh baltimore it seems like that's the case. Minka Fitzpatrick is now, I guess, on the trading block and in numerous upon numerous other Miami Dolphins have gone to their agent and has asked for their uh, trade or release from, from the team. Now, I get it. Nobody likes to lose. Nobody likes to play on a losing team. It just seems like this entire thing has just blown over to the point where there is almost no uh, help I see coming down the, down the line. It's just going to have to be remade through the draft. I guess a lot of these people are going to be traded. And so there's going to be a lot of movement when it comes to the Miami Dolphins and this roster. It will not look the same week in, week out, up until the trade deadline. And we're, and we're probably going to take, take this time to acquire uh, high draft picks. We're going to take this time to acquire... Uh, more help for the upcoming years and I and I thank you guys for being so uh, understanding and and even Ravens fans are saying oh look the future for this for this Miami team coming down the next few years is going to be bright through the draft well I don't exactly like the fact that we have so much so many draft picks because so many times you know draft picks are a bust I mean look at the Cleveland Browns for years, they had top draft picks, and they could never get that team fully functioning. And it still doesn't look like it's a fully functioning team after they get blown out. And I'm afraid we could be going down that route, have so many uh, first-round draft picks, have so many uh, young, talented people coming out of college, and then they just end up as busts. So I don't exactly uh, feel... Like, draft picks are where we need to be. We need to get veterans up there who will help and who will teach these these young kids when we draft them how to play the game, and we just don't have that. It's going to be a very long couple years for, for these Miami Dolphins, and this is just the next step in that, uh, I can't even say maturation, in the, uh, well, in the maturation of our failures. But, you know... And then we have the New England Patriots coming, and we have a team who pretty much doesn't even want to play here anymore. And it just feels like it's... I, they say they don't want to tank, but I really feel like this is going to be a tank year either way because the players who are there don't want to be there. There's a, we, we traded all the, all the veteran talent. And now, and now our best young corner slash safety has now asked for his his walking papers, and that he and he that he can get traded. Cowboys are interested. Eagles, I'm sure, are interested. I mean, I'm, right now, I bet you there's a million phone calls coming in to the Dolphins coaching staff. But guys, this is a very very dark day leading to a very, very dark season for the Miami Dolphins. Thank you guys for your comments, and I really do appreciate some of you guys trying to make me actually feel better about the state, state of the Miami Dolphins. It's just one of those things that it's just going to take time. We are going to get better. It's just how long is that going to take is the real question. So thank you guys for watching. Where does Minka Fitzpatrick go if he does get traded? How bad is the season going to be? Is there any hope on the horizon? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ken Raider. And as always, fins up.